Hello and welcome to Dabuya Gaming. Today we're going to be answering a simple question. Can you load and unload with the same truck station? And the simple answer is... No. So I wasn't going to cut it that short. Let's have a look at what you can do instead. So you will have to use two truck stations as you can see the, what I've done right here. And you can use one truck or you could use two, but for my solution, I have used one truck. So as you can see, I have them right next to each other, but you could place those truck stations wherever you like. I haven't put my inputs in yet, but for this station, I am using it for unloading. I use the first station as the unloader and the second station as the loader. You don't need to put fuel into both and you don't even need to put fuel into both sides unless it's extremely far away. And on this station, I've clicked unload. So it will unload from the far right pipe, the one with the arrows pointing outwards. And I'll just hook that up. So with the second truck station, the one that I'm going to be using to load, I have set it so that it loads in. You can see on the bottom right, it is loading. Do not configure anything on this far right pipe, the one that's pointing outwards, because else everything that goes in will immediately come out. I learned that the hard way. So just connect your two inputs in. For me, that's my fuel and my modular frames. Next, I'm gonna go configure the other side, so I'll see you guys soon. Okay, we are coming up onto my second truck stop. I use this first truck station as the unloader because it just seems more logical. As this one comes in, you should unload. Again, unloading at the bottom, pipe it in. Uh, then the loader on this side, again, yeah, use the second pipe. And then that will load it up with resources when it comes down. And as you can see in here, it's filtering in nice and slowly because I've only got Mark 1 pipes going in there or conveyor belts. And now that that's done, um, everything should work properly once you go and record the tractor. So I'm going to go do that now. Okay, we are back at the tractor and we're getting ready to make our path now. Now with each tractor you make, you will have to create the autopilot path. Um, you can't just copy it from another tractor. Now everything you do is taken literally, so if you sit here for half an hour, then it will sit there for half an hour when it does its all autopilot run. Don't forget to also power your truck station. I've forgotten to do that before and I've been sitting here wondering why isn't it working? So make sure you do that too. Okay, so let's start with our recording. We'll simulate sitting here for a little bit and dropping and loading. So this all takes about like five seconds, but we'll give ourselves 10 seconds. And then we're gonna move forward and load in on this one here. As you can see, it takes about five seconds and then we'll head off. Probably better to wait longer, just in case. Let's get to the next truck station. And we're coming up on our second set of truck stations. We're going to unload on this first one. And then load on this one. And then go loop back, else it will not finish its cycle. Anyway, we'll finish our cycle. And we're coming up to the end of the cycle. Should be able to just pause it there at the end and then it should finish the loop. And there it goes with the steel beams. And that's it. Oh, I think I need to tell it to stop recording before I yeah, finish recording. And then enable autopilot. Now I should sit there, do its little thing. Hopefully it doesn't sit there too long. There it goes now. Dropping off the items. And it should go off in just a second. And you can stand on here if you want for a quick ride. Anyway, thank you for watching folks. Hopefully the guide was helpful and I'll be making more of these in the future. Hopefully if um, I think of things that are annoying to me. See you next time.